Hello, I'm posting a video on Friday and from now on I will be posting a video every Friday, which is a recent commitment that I have made to myself and to this YouTube channel because I have been kind of struggling to keep up with weekly updates and I feel like one of the reasons why is because I didn't set a specific day of the week. So going forward, I'm gonna just try my best to keep up with the schedule and hopefully I can make it. But yeah. In this video, I wanted to just give you guys a quick update on the overall state of my projects, uh, what I'm currently up to, what I'm working on, like where I am in my artistic career slash journey. And I'm just going to be showing you some footage of this quick, fun fashion type of illustration that I did of one of my characters called Sweet. and. As you can see, I started out with a hideous sketch that I did in my sketchbook, which I thought would be pretty funny to show you all because I almost never make the decision to use a super ugly sketch as a base, but I did it in this case and it actually worked out pretty, pretty great. But yeah, I'm not going to be talking much about the process because it's pretty much the same as uh, my usual process that I've been talking about in my previous videos. And like I said, I just wanted to give you all an update on what I'm up to. So first of all, I was thinking about how I missed making Q&A videos. So if you have any questions for me at all about anything art related or even just general questions, if you want to know something about how I got to where I am or what I'm planning to do or anything like that, I'd love to answer some questions in some upcoming videos. So please take a minute to comment below and let me know what questions you might have so I can jot them down and answer them. And now that I got that out of the way, I'm just going to tell you guys what I've been up to recently. So specifically this week, I spent so much time <laughs> trying to set up uh, a new shipping option for my shop because as some of you may know, I currently have a limited list of countries that I can ship my things to and that's because honestly being in Canada and having a small business or trying to do some sort of e-commerce thing is so difficult because the shipping options are super limited and especially for international um, orders it's just so expensive even if, if the package is super small and light, the rates are still crazy. So I've just been trying really hard to figure out some sort of alternative option to offer people. Cause honestly, like it's just one of the worst things when you, I've had, I've had these experiences before when I really like an artist's work and I'm just desperate to own an art book, but they, for some reason, either don't sell their stuff online or they just don't offer any international shipping so it's not even like a matter of affording it it's just like i cannot even get it at all so i know how much that's like so i'm just trying to make sure that it's not that type of situation in my store so all in all i finally was able to implement a dhl express option into my shop finally like literally 20 minutes ago and so i have that available now but it's still really expensive unfortunately and yeah it really sucks because like when you start out a business they just don't give you very good rates and the, obviously the more shipments you send the cheaper it costs but i don't even know how to get to that point because shipping like being this expensive is such a big like deterring factor for customers but Anyways, before I bore you with the stuff, I, I guess I did want to let you know that I do have an option for all countries now, but it is really expensive, but at least it's super fast. So there's that. So it's one of the better options, I guess. But yeah, I was just on the phone on and off so many times this week trying to set that up with like Shopify and DHL. So I'm glad that I was finally able to conclude that earlier today. And aside from that, I've been, I've just been trying to constantly reprioritize my tasks. And it's really difficult because I seem to always have like 10 things going on at the same time. And the deadlines for them are a bit uh, messy. So sometimes it'll revolve around just whatever is due the soonest, which really doesn't help with my productivity because I don't really have that many due dates anymore unless I try to strictly set them myself, which is pretty difficult because 
no matter how many times I put in a task of finishing something, like for instance, I've been working on this sticker set. I've already made a couple of those in the past, as you may have seen me talk about them before. The new one that I'm working on, I guess it's not even new at this point because I've been working on it for months, is called The Scholar. And like the previous ones I've made, it has six pages. And I only have two pages of designs left and I already finished sketching them. They're pretty clean sketches. And then I also did the cleanup for one of the sheets, but I still haven't gotten around to finishing coloring them and editing and like finishing all the rest. So there's that that's been on the back burner for ages and I keep trying to schedule it in, but all this other stuff keeps coming up. So at this point, I'm just ranting about the mess that is my schedule, but yeah essentially what i'm working towards is trying to dedicate more time to working on my comic but it always ends up taking the backseat sort of because every month for me is kind of like this new game where i have to figure out how to make uh make my income first and then sometimes that takes takes up most of the time <laughs> and then i hardly have any free time left to work on my comic which currently i have not figured out any way of monetizing it right away which is obviously a problem because there's so many expenses and yeah but so speaking of monetizing the comic one of the things that i've been considering lately and something that i've actually gotten questions about in the past is if i have a patreon or a discord so i was thinking that it's probably time for me to try to set up a patreon type of situation soon and i'm not entirely new to patreon i've had it before i still have an account um i still have a patreon page right now even but it's currently inactive because I basically had to go on hi hiatus because I had so much freelance work last uh, last couple of years that I couldn't keep up with it and so it's been on the semi-permanent hiatus and I've just been trying to figure out what the best way of coming back would be because I have based it around different things in the past like when I first started it I was in my final final year of college and I was working on my graduation film which is actually the same the same story that i'm trying to rewrite but in the film it was just like a short trailer anyway so i was doing a lot of work for that and i was doing some visual development and there was just a ton of things to share that would be fun so that's initially what i based my first attempt at patreon on and it was awesome and it was so much fun and it was great to be able to share some progress animations and uh the visual development character sheets and things like that with um my patrons but obviously after the project was done i didn't really have nearly as much content to offer anymore because i started on my full-time job and then it just kind of fizzled out uh, but then a few months later i I quit my job and I decided to give it another shot and uh, the second time around I decided to base it around making tutorials and that's actually where most of my tutorials that are currently on Gumroad came from and ever since then I've been really wanting to get back to making tutorials as well so I'm thinking this time I want it to be something of a mix between making tutorials and funding my comic slash uh giving you guys like sneak peeks and just behind the scenes stuff i so that's that's kind of what my plan is but i'm not sure when exactly i should start this up i mean logically the best way to, to go about this would be to start it up as soon as possible but i have had some failed attempts in between patreon where i just started it up kind of prematurely without having a solid plan and then i quickly found myself unable to keep up with it so this time i definitely don't want to make that mistake which is why i decided to take my time and figure things out so actually on that note i would really love some it input and uh, suggestions from you guys because i know that some of you are obviously new to my channel and you have no idea what i'm talking about but i'll just uh, quickly go over what it is that i'm working on and it is a comic series called gloaming veil it used to go by a different name and it's a rewrite of a web comic that i used to draw back when i was in high school a long time ago so it's quite different so i wouldn't necessarily compare it but it, i did keep a lot of the 
elements as well and most of the characters are similar to what they were like before but long story short i'm just working on that and that's kind of like my main project that i want to execute very badly and i feel like i've been working for years and years and years towards the point where i'm able to and at this point i'm pretty close because um the last couple of years i basically spent um on doing a lot of freelance uh building up some social media and just setting up my online shop so i can have some sort of income and i they also was focusing on paying off my student loan and that now that i finished doing those things i feel like i'm just basically on the cusp of starting this comic and i'm currently writing the second chapter but i have a lot of it planned out so writing the actual script is basically the last hurdle because i did so much planning and i spent so much time planning everything and every char character arc and all of that so it's very exciting but yeah so back to the patreon thing so i was thinking my tentative plan is that i'm going to obviously like i've mentioned at the beginning of this video i'm pretty committed to the youtube channel because i really like uh, talking to you guys i like sharing my process and um, i would like to share more different stuff and i'm especially super excited to start this comic and tell you guys more about how i plan things how i go about writing things and like making layouts slash thumbnails for the comics and actual pages and all of that so there's a ton of things to share which i'm super excited about but yeah i keep going off topic why do i keep doing that <laughs> i was talking about patreon right so my tentative plan was to um essentially wait until i have around 100k subs on youtube which hopefully will happen <laughs> staying positive and um i think that it'll give me enough time to come up with a better strategy and hopefully have a backlog of some stuff that i can share with you guys and also i i just like having goals i guess um having deadlines that are kind of based around some sort of goal like i arbitrarily picked 100k because i don't know it's it seems like it's kind of on the horizon but it's still some ways away so that gives me enough time to think about it and properly plan things out and i'm also very excited to connect it to a discord because i have a couple of friends that have a patreon currently um that they are actively involved in and they've been telling me that the, having a discord is one of the funnest things about it and it's something i've never tried before so i am pretty pretty excited about that yeah so those are kind of my tentative plans and speaking of gloaming veil i the other thing that i did this week was i've been trying to jump into doing some visual development because i've honestly been kind of putting it off because i've mostly been focusing on the script and there's a lot of other stuff that i do that's adjacent to this dev for gloaming veil vale. like for instance my sticker sets are based on my gloaming veil vale characters and i guess it kind of counts as Vizda, but not quite because obviously for sticker designs it's it's finished complete artwork that has a secondary purpose so at first i was really thinking that i'm kind of killing two birds with one stone by using an opportunity to do some viz dev but also creating a product that i'm really happy with out of it but i have to admit that honestly that side of things well or like going about it that way is way less viz dev and way more just making a pretty product which is totally fine because i'm still super happy with the artwork that i produced but um i do realize that if i'm gonna want to get anywhere with actual viz dev i'm gonna have to just approach it from that perspective only and focus on figuring out concrete like clothing characters facial expressions things like that and i 
I just can't make that into any product as well, except obviously eventually that can go into an art book, which is always nice. But yeah, so this week I decided to tackle that for the first time in kind of a serious way. I did make a couple of feeble attempts last year to do some uniform designs and I haven't shared that with you guys yet. I actually, I think I posted something, like a small thing of that a while back on Instagram, but overall I have not posted the, the um, uniform design um, variations attempt. The thing about that is I keep going back and forth, so I actually did another uniform redesign for the academy. Um, Glowing Veil vale Academy is the school where um, the main characters, the protagonists of my story, go to in a town called Glowing Veil. Vale. But um, yeah, that's something I have to still revisit, but I think I, I'm coming close to like the finalized design, but I, I just wasn't happy with the results that I was getting before and my feeble attempt that I mentioned. Um, from earlier, a couple of the characters, just the way that I drew them, it didn't quite look like them and it wasn't the right, it just didn't feel right, so I didn't keep going with it as a result. But this week I finally made some major breakthroughs by actually <laughs> um, deciding to take a more experimental approach with my usually super uptight process digital process um when it comes to visual development stuff i really really prefer going digital with it because it just seems much faster to me and i like being able to fix since i'm trying to really narrow down a certain look of the characters or capture some sort of pose it's obviously way easier to do that digitally because you can edit things very quickly so in in um, trying to save time i decided to commit to finding a digital process that i'm happier with and by process i mean like workflow or stylistic choices or just overall direction um, because after doing my very recent or after completing my recent sailor moon piece i realized that i'm not that happy with the finish the overall result i mean it's kind of hard to explain like i don't think it's a bad illustration i don't think it's a bad piece of art like i don't hate it by any means i do think it's nice in some ways and i obviously put a lot of effort into it effort and time into it but i think it also just finally fully exposed to me how I have a tendency to try and control way too much of a canvas and as a result it makes the result ki kind of too polished or too neat and too uptight. I don't know, that's just the vibe that I get from it and I just distinctly got the feeling that when I look at it I don't, like I think of it as fine and like nice on its own but in relation to me and in relation to what i want my art to look like and what i want it to feel like it just felt like a huge disconnect so i was pretty frustrated and i think as a result i actually had some sort of art block situation going on which is why my last video was about art block but i thankfully broke through it by doing some experimentation and i will show you guys at some point soon the experiment that i'm talking about um so I was finally able to at least get way closer to the type of look that I'm going for, for the comic and for the visual development aspect of it. It's a lot more rough and not so painstakingly neat when it comes to the line art and just generally I, I tried using a lot of different textured brushes and yeah, so at the risk of this getting into a super boring territory i'm just going to move on from this topic but yeah i'll show you guys soon and that's the kind of thing that i had in mind with um starting a patreon that would be dedicated to gloaming veil vale and some tutorials i would love to talk in more detail and with specific visual examples about things like this just like stylistic exploration how i feel about my art how i go about um, taking it in a different direction if that's something that i feel like doing etc so yeah and since i mentioned patreon and tutorials that's actually obviously i like i said i've been thinking about making new tutorials it's something that i've been wanting to do in conjunction with 
revamping my old tutorials and adding more information to them and hopefully making videos for them this time because as some of you may know if you've purchased them the my old tutorials only have pdfs with a ton of text and um in my opinion not enough visuals even though there are quite a few example illustrations still I, I feel like I could definitely use more so that's something that I'm trying to get to and also I've been thinking about making some new Skillshare classes and that's another thing that I wanted to ask you guys about if you have any suggestions about what topics you'd like me to tackle or what kind of class format you'd like to see what what you like to see more of when it comes to instructional videos like do you like real-time footage versus sped up footage? Um, do you need more visual explanations or ver verbal explanations? Things like that. So all those things would help me prepare for making a new Skillshare class for you guys. Yeah, and lastly, one thing that's been on my mind lately has been making a new art book. So it's been about, I think it's been like a couple of years since I maybe a year and a half since I last ran my Kickstarter for my latest art book, Milk of Melancholy, which you can find in my shop. I've I've been thinking about like, I mean, I love making art books. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do, but it is a huge task. So it takes a lot of planning. And um, I've been talking to a couple of friends and they've pointed out that I could really make uh, I could use making or hmm, they'd like me to they'd like to see me make an art book with more rough work and process like sketches and things like that so less polished finished illustrations and mo more just focusing on rough work so basically like a sketchbook I guess except that term can be confusing because I've, o I've also been wanting to make blank sketchbooks with a custom cover that has my art on it so not to be confused with that um so yeah um i was thinking about that let me know what you guys think about that idea and it's actually like a more difficult thing for me to do because i tend to be really picky especially when it comes to my own art like very critical of it so it's tough for me to find sketches that i would deem worthy of like going into an art book <laughs> but um, i'm planning to also get my friends to hopefully help me picking some stuff and be I guess less discriminatory about the sketches that I want to put in so yeah let me let me know if you guys think it's a good idea and if, if you'd like to see an art book full of sketches from me and oh yeah actually I guess speaking of sketches I have noticed that I've gotten some questions here and there uh, asking if I'm gonna do another sketchbook tour soon and I mean, I, I could honestly do one, but it's just that my sketchbook is incomplete right now and I was just waiting for for the time when I finish it, but unfortunately I have barely touched it recently, but I don't know. I don't know, like I just keep like darting between different things. Like I was planning to fully go back to traditional media recently because I've been doing so much digital stuff lately, but then I thought about doing vis uh, visual development for Gloaming Vale and I figured that I want to do that digitally so I guess I kind of went back to digital on that. Yeah. I have a really hard time switching between mediums, <laughs> like back and forth. Uh, it's way easier for my brain to kind of deal with one thing at a time so that's why I tend to go through phases so I'll have like a traditional phase where for a couple of months that's something I'll just focus on solely and then later like recently I've been mostly doing digital stuff which is kind of a problem because that's why I'm currently stuck on my scholar uh, sticker pack progress because it's traditional pieces but I'm still kind of stuck in the digital phase so yeah artist problems <laughs> gotta figure it out uh, I guess I'll just have to schedule it in and do my best. Maybe it would help if I had two different desks because I have one small desk and I have to do some serious moving around in order for me to make space for traditional <laughs> media. But yeah, so it was a bit of a long rant about what I'm currently doing and yeah, I don't know. I, I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to and just talk more casually. And I hope you enjoyed looking at the process of my girl, Sweet. I actually really miss drawing her and 
zero as well my so in case you're new to my channel I, I have these two characters sweet and zero who I've designed specifically for doing fashion doodles and but they're also secondary characters and uh, in the comic that I'm working on so yeah I'm I'm really looking forward to making more art I've been pretty productive this week aside from dealing with all the DHL stuff so very exciting times and I'm also looking forward to reading you guys' comments and the questions that you guys would want me to answer hopefully there will be a lot of those to choose from i'm gonna do my best to keep up with the schedule and bring you guys more videos in the weeks to come so yeah thank you for listening or and or watching and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>